So what's happening YouTube? Today we're looking at the Dreo fan right here and the Dyson. And one is less expensive. Like this is a $300 fan and this is a $600 fan. Now you would say that Dyson, because of the name, you might think that it's a better fan. But we're right here to find out who's the better one. Here we go. First things first, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you want to get one of these. It's up to you. Vote in the comments below as well who's better. And if you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. So let's go ahead and compare the Dreo fan versus the Dyson fan. Here we go. So the main difference on the two fans, of course, is the looks. As you could see, the Dyson looks aesthetically pleasing. I wouldn't say it looks better. Dreo just takes on a more traditional look on its fan. So for this one, both of them gets a point because it's technically a tie. It just depends on personal preference. Now these two fans can also purify air. They have a built-in purifier on the bottom, as you could see there. Now the Dyson pu air purifier filter is actually a two-parter. Um, one on the front, I guess, and the back. So basically you have these two buttons on the side and it just comes off like so. It's really easy to put on back as well. Definitely not as easy as the Dreos though, because the Dreo only comes with one door, which you open from the back. And then the inside of that has the filter. Really easy to take off and put on. In my opinion, I was using one hand to actually put this on and take it off. So in my opinion, Dreo takes the win on this one. And honestly, I can't tell the difference between the two on the air purification part. When looking at the app, it's able to test the air quality and get the temp ambient as well. Both of them are able to do both things. On the Dyson, it has a little bit of extra measurements as well. NO2, humidity, and other things. So I give the point to Dyson. Now the big difference between the Dreo and the Dyson is the air movement. Now the Dyson uses this circular fan to kind of push the air inside and out. So the air can pretty much cover up to 350 degree angle. So it'll shoot almost backwards and frontwards. It's really up to you how you want it. So you just got to choose how the air is being shot towards you it's either backwards or frontwards but the dreo is more traditional where it shoots on the actual direction as it oscillates it actually blows the air more accurately than the dyson the dyson kind of wants to circulate the air more in the room depends on the situation personally I find the dreo fan because of its accuracy I'm able to use it in more scenarios than the Dyson. Dyson kind of just wants to be on the corner and then forget about it. But the Dreo, if you want a fan that is more traditional look and also how it blows the air more accurately, I would give the win to Dreo. And the other part of that is the oscillation for the Dreo can actually be fully customized as well. No, it doesn't do 350 degrees, but you can have it set so that it will only turn a certain way. It's accurately going to hit the area that you want to get hit. Now testing the decibels now, the noise for the Dreo. This is just the air purification part of it. This is just the default settings as well 
and as you can see it's going for about 40 ish there and then looking at the dyson is about 10 decibels lower than the dreo so i would say that for the air purification of quietness i would give it to the dyson now both the Dreo and the Dyson has a remote, so you're able to change it from that. Same with the app, you'll be able to control it from that. But the Dreo, I think, takes the cake on this one just because you're able to control it just on top of the device. So the fan actually has full controls on top of the Dreo. But on the other hand, the Dyson only has this little screen in the front and you're not able to control it at all. You only get one button, which is the power button. Now for me personally, I think the big difference between the Dyson and the Dreo is the price. Now you'd think because it's $600 that the Dyson will be able to cover more room, right? Or it'll be able to shoot more air in a distance. Now the Dreo actually does this twice as much because the fan is more focused on one direction it's able to put out more air in a longer distance meanwhile the dyson at 600 dollars actually is half of that here it is for the Dreo shooting towards my direction and i could definitely tell where my hand is it's about here that's getting hit and it's uh, blowing pretty good uh, let's turn this off super easy there and let's see if the dyson can go against that let's turn this guy on now we can't control it like i said earlier we'll have to use the remote yeah the wind is not doing as much as the dreo um i think the 12 the settings 12 on the Dreo is a lot powerful. We're gonna set the Dreo after this to 10 and see in comparison how well that does, if it's as good as the Dyson. I don't even feel the, the Dyson really. It's kind of hard to tell if it's on hitting me or not, which in a way, in my opinion, is um, quite bothersome if it's really hot in the room. Turn this guy off and put this on and maybe put it in just 10. It, it's already a big difference. Again, sit in the same spot. That's already more air blowing than the Dyson. Now, this is not a technical test by any means, so don't get me wrong, right? But um, I think the Dreo wins for the better air circulation. I'll give that to Dreo just because it's able to hit um, a further distance, especially if, a, if you have a bigger room. Uh, my room here is about uh, 400 square footage, so it's not very big. So I don't really need a, a huge fan, but even with that on the corner of it from corner to corner the Dreo is able to do a better job now for quietness i'm not saying that Dreo is loud or anything it's actually pretty quiet as well but compared to the dyson i think dyson is a little bit quieter so i'll give the i'll give that to dyson now for uniqueness of design and aesthetically pleasing i think the dyson takes this one as well just because it's so different from any other fans out there but it's sad because Dyson it's able to shoot only half the distance which is kind of sad you're paying for more for less air so let me know what you think do you think the Dreo or the Dyson is better now for me personally I think the looks of the Dyson obviously is pretty cool it's nicer and it would blend in more in the room but the Dreo just does everything overall much better, almost twice as better than the Dyson. And it's half the price of the Dyson. So let me know what you think down below. Uh, that's it for the day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you like this content. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you could see more of me. 
Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.